Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I'm Braden. That's Tim. This is Second Legacy, and you are awesome for showing up, and thank you so much for doing that. We have got a banger for you today because there was an invisible mass shooting. It's like Hollow Man versus mass shooting. It's crazy. We're going to dive into it, and oddly enough, you hear nothing about it from the gun controllers, from the media, from the gun control personalities. Mum's the word. There's got to be a reason. We're going to get to the bottom of it like Sherlock Holmes on this one. So make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn the notification bell on. And before we show you this greatness, say a quick word from our sponsor, and then we are going to get it. And the content today is brought to you by a sponsor, Ammo Squared. Now, this is such an interesting idea, guys. We're talking about retirement, retirement accounts for your ammo. It's a thing. This is something you guys should definitely at least look at if you're interested. So what's really cool about it is you can... Tell Ammo Squared what type of ammunition you want, and it'll automatically purchase that ammunition throughout the month. You can also sell the ammunition back if you don't want it, or you can just say, send it to me now, and they'll hold it for you. They'll store it for free, and they'll ship it to you whenever you request it. There's so many cool features about this service. You really need to check them out at AmmoSquared.com, and we want to thank them for sponsoring today's video. All right, Tim, you heard the intro. Hollow Man, Sherlock Holmes, full of references, so it can't go wrong. How are you, man? Doing good. Like this Brian? one is has been so misreported in the media <laughs> that I don't even yes. know what's happened. So this ought to be interesting. It doesn't exist. Yeah, that's strange. I'm going to walk you through this. I'm going to show you how the Hollow Man... I, basically, I'm going to be the guy that throws the bucket of paint on the Hollow Man. That's what's going to happen right now. <laughs> okay. Just to show you, show you where everything is. So, unfortunately, and this is, this is genuine right here. I'm, this is going to be a sarcastic delivery of the video, but this is actually the sad part. Number one, at least two were killed and six others were injured in shooting at a Memphis block party. Tim, did you hear anything about this on like the mainstream media, mm -hmm. like exposés, wall-to-wall -wall mass shooting coverage? No, I didn't. Matter of fact, when you said this morning and pre-show you know, pre that you said, oh, we got this mass shooting. And I said, where? I can't, I'm looking at the mm -hmm. news right now and I don't see anything. What are you talking about? So, Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, we've, oh, we've got receipts. We've got screenshots of the receipts too. Well, this is where it gets really fascinating for me. And then I'm going to show you because we actually got leaked video from the actual shooting. Right? Leaked. That's even better. Oh, leaked. Leaked, yes. Leaks much better than official some video. Of the, some, of the names, some of the names are hilarious on the credit, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> so every town for uh, gun safety, you would think, again, got mass shooting, right? What's their main shtick? Mass shooting, four more, or excuse me, uh, four people in total injured or killed, excluding the shooters and mass shooting. So check. Four to eight, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, so we're above that. Uh, we've got potentially ARs, Glock switches, and handguns. You'd think they'd be all over this, right, Tim? Like that, that's like that's like red meat for gun controllers. You'd think, yeah. You think they'd be the, the you know yeah, just weird. talking well, about this for months on end. Correct, and they'd be beating us over the head with how virtuous they are and how evil we are. Um, but all that every town for gun safety could muster was retweeting an ABC News report. That's that's number two I've got, and this is the report number three. Same thing. Memphis block party shooting, two dead, six injured. NBC, same thing. CBS, exact same headline. Something smells a foul, does it not, Tim? Mm -hmm. Well, I know mm. from previous experience that this is probably because it doesn't fit their narrative, right? They don't oh, feel they can Tim. use this to their political advantage, so they're just going to pretend like it didn't happen because it's about saving just one life, but only the lives we deem exactly. to be important. The, the other lives we don't I deem to be so important. I'm so glad you're on it. Yeah. You can, you can go exactly. kill yourselves. That's fine. We don't care about you. You don't help our. You don't exactly. help our agenda. But you, it's got to be for the cause. Yeah. Exactly. You have to have the perfect narrative. So let me bring one of the clips forward, and maybe we can ascertain a little bit more about what happened here, and see if we get to the bottom of this. Because two things I want to show you here, Tim. One, we're going to go through the check boxes of all the mass shooting checklists, and then we're going to go through the obvious things that we noticed. So with that said, Doctor Producer, could you start number six? <laughs> Yeah. Wow. I mean, so that was let's just go. That wasn't just a couple of shots being traded. We had no. we had some, you know, some utes out there uh -huh. having a good time yeah, doing some, some donuts, you know, doing their typical illegal city stuff. Uh, you know, street takeovers, it would appear something similar. And then uh, gunfire. Correct. Uh, you know, it's yeah. all these future doctors and lawyers and stuff out there. Exactly. 
Young scholars, I believe, mm. is the term, the blanket coverall. Yeah. So the big question that I have for you, Tim, is observationally from a gun expert side, how many different types of reports did you hear there? Dude, the it was question. everything. <laughs> I mean, everything. I think I right? heard a nuclear the, weapon go off. No, I, it's like, right. it was, yeah, it was just a, it was everything imaginable. Like you could hear rifle Correct. cartridges. You could hear pistol cartridges. There's some really fast firing, some slow firing, like pop, pop, pop. And then it was just a little of everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, so from my untrained ear, I heard definite rifle concussion. Mm -hmm. I heard tons of different pistols. And then I heard a Glock switch right there at the end. Did you catch that real fast cadence? That yeah. Yeah. Um, so I'm going, wow, that is like red meat for gun controllers. Yeah. Cause what's their things, right? There's Glock switches, there's ghost guns, there's ARs. Why would they not be all over this, Tim? It's got to be something to do. It, it just doesn't fit the narrative. Something so weird, because like you said, it's all about saving lives. If we could save these one life, like to one or two or three, it'd be worth all the infringements. But then this happens, and you literally have hundreds of rounds being discharged by multiple people. The reports are saying two shooters. Did that sound like two, two shooters, shooters, Tim? Yeah. Like like, <laughs> like General Grievous, you know, they have six arms. <laughs> exactly. There was two shooters, but they had 19 arms each, and this one had a, had a gun. Yeah. Come on, that was not two shooters. That was at least 10 people. That's half the neighborhood. That was, that was a straight-up yeah. Fallujah gunfight, man. That was... Oh, my God. It's so crazy. And they don't say a word. Mm. Um, well, it must be so, that the people that were involved just aren't important to them in some way. Oh, that's horrible. That's horrible. And you know, it's funny that you said the Fallujah thing. Again, I haven't prepped you on this. And that's so beautiful when this happens. We'll come back to that in a second. But to your point, we updated the notes this morning to say, hey, we, we confirmed this is number seven. When you search Google, there's nothing about it in the top stories under the search gun news. Interesting. Okay. Huh. We have we have because we, I'm pretty sure that AZ schools seeing more student gun threats. No, oh, but yeah, that's more more news Jerusalem. than a, yeah, than than uh, yeah. a gunfight in Memphis. I mean, okay, cool. Uh, okay, that makes sense. So maybe it's maybe it's it's hidden under the bottom page. Maybe it's like number eight. Like this is just the actual high level results. Uh, this is as of 15 minutes ago of the filming. This was at 8:30 in the morning on Monday morning. Uh, we got some Maryland. We still have Colorado house passing, so female college student stuff. Uh, two deadly shootings involving teens. Uh, I don't hear much around hmm. uh, a uh, battlefield Iraq style in Memphis. Do you? No, no. That's interesting. There must be something it's really, so really off-putting in the storyline here that the, the anti-gunners. There must be. Hmm. There must be. Maybe, maybe you know that Fallujah comment that you just made? Yeah. Uh, you know, somehow, amazingly. Uh, doctor, can you throw number 10 up, show Tim? Did you catch that? Do you, do you see what they're what they're throwing in the air? Kind of like like dancing and jiving and juking and dancing. See that? What all the guns being waved around? Yeah, isn't that weird? Yeah, that's so odd because you said Fallujah, and that's what happens in Iraq and like other areas where they dance in the world streets, yeah, shoot, shoot guns in the air, rounds in the air. Uh, what yeah. was the narration at the beginning of the video? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I don't know what they're saying, but that's funny. Um, I believe, I believe I'm hearing, girl, they tearing up. Oh. <laughs> that's what I think I'm hearing. Oh, they tearing up. <laughs> so apparently, <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's oh, no, it's okay. It's always I think the it's narration important. that I think gets it's me, important. man. It's it is. It's like. Oh my gosh. I mean, so <laughs> without getting banned. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, the um <laughs> they tear it up. So apparently <laughs> next time I see you at a range with all your homies <laughs> in a circle, throwing an AR <laughs> up in the air, pumping it to well, music. That's, that's... I'm gonna say that exact phrase. <laughs> oh man. All right. Because by the way, that would never happen because responsible gun owners never do that crap. No. Um but it is our fault, Tim. So maybe maybe these two things just maybe just doesn't look good for the gun controllers. Maybe they don't like when someone says, girl, they tearing up. Maybe maybe know, that's it. Alongside street takeovers. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. That's uh, that, we're going to get to the bottom of it, though. Let's Tim. try. We're going to get to the bottom. of it. I, I'm really yep. curious at this point. 
Well, let me let me take you to the uh, the either the police chief or the spokeswoman for the police in Memphis, um, and this is what she said about what the what you just witnessed. This is her comments. This is number eleven. This was a block party in the Orange Mound Park that was occurring, as far as we know, without a permit. There were approximately 200 to 300 people in attendance at this event. Just a block that's, party, folks. That's what we got on. It's, it's, a, it's just a block party. It's fine. It's a block party. They were a girl tearing up, and there were some street takeovers, and they were cutting donuts on basketball courts. Um, and, and it looks and, like a bunch of very underage people. And, but and, and there was a hail of gunfire. But what she talks about oh, is did they forget to we, mention that. We, but they oh. forgot to mention that. And but they also but they did bring up that they didn't have a permit. They don't believe they, it wasn't a permit for the party. You know? There wasn't a permit for the party. That's why it didn't make it to the news cycle. And that's why the gun controllers didn't cover it was because there was no permit for the party. That obviously. <laughs> Jeez. I mean, that's a great we way to the bottom of it, Tim. That's a great way to describe what just happened in that video. You know, it was just a block <laughs> party that didn't have a permit, maybe 200, 300 people. All right, next question. <laughs> anyway, anyway, and so you know what I love about this? And maybe we can kill the audio so I don't have to hear that girl tearing up quote again. But this is n- number 10. The body language of the people, I'm just going to leave it there looping. The body language of the people in that crowd, they're not turned off by the idea that a bunch of guys are throwing ARs in the air dancing. They're just standing there and they're commenting that they are, quote, tearing it up i'm like okay that alone by itself is indicative of what was going on at this party i mean i guess it's just commonplace for people to gather in memphis and wave guns in the air and do donuts and then you know maybe but it, these are all kids maybe it was just an nd that kicked off the exchange of fire you know sometimes it's just an accident it's just a friendly fire incident a negligent yeah. A negligent discharge kicks off 200 rounds and 10 general grievances going at each other? <laughs> Could be. You just never know, you know. Tim, I love your optimism. That's what I like about you is how optimistic you are for the future of our youths. It's <laughs> so hope movie. inspiring is what it is. Utes. <laughs> but, yeah, so so that's what happened in Memphis. To, um, Memphis, there was no permit for a block party. That's all you need to know. Yeah, yeah. no permit. And uh, thanks for watching. No permit. <laughs> I mean, anyway, back to you, Tim. I mean, like, isn't it weird how Davy Hogg has said nothing? Gabby Giffords had said nothing. Shannon Watts, nothing. Everytown for Gun Safety, Giffords.org, Moms Man Action, John Feinblatt from Everytown Law, nothing. Isn't that so weird? Yeah, it just, it would appear that they just don't think this benefits their narrative. Huh. Hmm. You know what? I like the way that you said that. You gave the benefit of the doubt. There you go again. It appears that this seems to be the um, the outcome and the approach, but maybe they will correct and right their wrongs. I love that about you, Tim. So hopeful for the against the commies. I love it. So see what I did there? Yeah, I'm trying to poke you. You did. I'm not going to say anything <laughs> about communists. Oh, oh man! But <laughs> folks, comment down below. Why do you think the anti gunners don't want to touch this one? What is it that's in this video in this uh, this this innocent little block party without a permit? Okay, so they're a little bit no permit, they're a little ruffians. They they didn't have a permit. But uh what what do you think? What what is throwing off the anti-gunners here? Why isn't this front page news for all the anti-gun uh, you know media outlets out there? Comment down below. Thank you for watching Second Legacy and we'll talk to you guys soon.